Today, all four of the nations start with 2,000 population, but there's a catch. We'll be outlawing babies. Yes, that's right. Babies are now illegal. So once a kingdom loses a person, uh, they cannot recover them. And we'll go until just one kingdom stands or everyone dies. So we can go and hit play. And for those of you wondering, we did nerf the orc skin. Um, we gave them all the... Uh, the tiny perk and the orcs are already building a dock thing that was super quick i don't know why i don't think they can even build boats but i guess maybe they can fish off the dock or something okay so orcs <laughs> oh they actually already lost a couple guys um i'm assuming it's the monkeys because the monkeys actually kill the orcs yeah it's got to be the monkeys or maybe a tree fell on one of them i don't know let's go look at everyone else we got humans up here um which are building a few houses because they're advancing pretty quickly i feel like that's usually the humans advantages they they do develop very quickly. Um, elves are doing good down here. They just built a new colony. And I think everyone just built a new colony. <laughs> so orcs built Rid, Rid uh, down here. We got Semril from the dwarves. We got Ehan from the elves and Letinsk from the humans. Yeah, I'm really curious how this is gonna go. If the kingdoms are gonna expand as much as they usually do, or if they're just gonna build up their home colony super strong, because I could see them doing that. Just having one like super strong um, capital and then not really expand very much just because they're not getting their population up. But I don't know actually. I've never disabled um, that option in world laws. I'm really not sure how they're gonna behave in this game, um, but I, I kind of hope they expand a bit though. It would be cool. I want to see someone get this island over here. I, I forgot we were looking at the village layer. I was like, how did the orcs get down to 1942 already? Oh, I think I saw a guy with a stick. Where is he? <laughs> Don't be shy. Come out. Show me your stick. All right. Dwarves just built two new colonies. We got Donal. We just renamed that Donald. Donald. Haha. -ha. Okay. That's probably the guy I saw earlier. Goo. Guru is the first soldier to the a dwarven army. Here, let's give him a star. I hope he lives forever. Okay, then elves have an army up here. Uh, nine, ten. Um, orcs surprisingly have no army. And humans have a little army. Okay, why did the orcs build a colony here, though? There's, like, nothing here. There's just a single, like, little patch of grass. And then there's orcs down here, too. I don't know how they even got down here. Okay, orcs did build an army. They built that quick, because they got an 18 up here. Maybe they were just hiding. I'm kind of scared about the elves and dwarves because they're getting awfully close to each other i wonder i wonder if the elves are kind of gearing up for war here all right let's take a look at the cultures again okay so humans as usual are kind of leading the way with technology so they have transport boats already so they can maybe capture some of these islands and they got spears and swords um elves have spears and swords and bronze already elves are gonna be super op they're already developing better materials dwarves are making swords and orcs is making swords as well also somehow the elves gained everyone gained a few people somehow um i must have accidentally spawned a couple extra people so we're just gonna go and find some unlucky losers to kill uh these two i think will do they look like a happy couple okay we just got a new colony from the dwarves oh, no not dwarves <laughs> from the orcs ok Ez over here oh i think those people got eaten by this uh crocodile yeah he definitely sustained some injuries uh he lost an eye but he managed to kill both of these people okay we just got our first war so we got elves versus dwarves. Yeah, elves versus dwarves. Okay, they both seem pretty evenly matched with about the same amount of armies. So we'll see how this goes. And I think this colony is gonna fall. Okay, two, one. Oh, it's just the farmer left. He's completely oblivious to everything going on. Here comes the cavalry though. Let's go. Come on, elves, you can do this. Defend Farmer Brown. He would do the same for you. Or just walk through that army. Oh no. I'm surprised because I remember elves were the ones that had some really good uh, technologies. But even still, they're not really a match for the uh, dwarves here. Oh, it's that one guy from earlier. Uh, Guro. So I guess he's the head of this army now. Although I guess he kind of started this army, so maybe it makes sense. Okay, then orcs. What the heck are the orcs doing? They built a ton of new colonies. So they just built, I think this one, Esdis, uh, Geridas, and Zaptat. Uh, so they're expanding really quickly. They got a lot of colonies, which is good. I'm, I was hoping that the kingdoms would still expand a lot. All right, and dwarves just took over that colony, and it looks like they're kind of continuing up the assault uh, with Ehan down to 20. But here comes the elven army. Can they fend them off? Uh, no, they can't. <laughs> That's the last of the elven army right there. And dwarves are just being relentless. They're setting up more guys, but it's gonna be really hard for these tiny armies to take over the capital. Yeah, there's just so many citizens coming out here to beat them all to death. Okay, but elves are down to 1900. 
they lost 100 guys in that fight, and orbs lost about 25. And a new war has begun, humans versus dwarves. And orcs and elves just made peace with each other. Okay, orcs just demolished that army. What? Here comes the rest of the humans army, and yeah, I don't think they're gonna survive this. They're way outnumbered. And I don't know where these guys are going. Are they trying to get on a boat or something? Oh, there is a boat. Uh, let's see, we're there. Hey, you left a guy. What, are they coming back for him? No way, that's so funny. They're like, wait, I think we forgot something. All right, dwarves just declared war on the humans. So they're having to fight two empires right now. Thankfully, the humans do seem pretty strong. Their armies are pretty good. I think they have bows and arrows too. One of hum humans colonies just got destroyed up to, and there goes another one. So I think humans are gonna get pushed back to their little island here, unless they can manage to fend these guys off. Honestly, all you'd really need to kill all these people is just one person with the like either Bomberman or Pyromaniac perk. Because if you could just get a bomb in here and a, a fire started, I feel like you could literally kill all these people. All right, so we had a few things just happen. So humans made peace with the orcs, and I think el orcs and elves just declared war on dwarves. Oh no, everyone's just declaring war on the dwarves. I feel like this always happens. Meanwhile, the dwarves are out here trying to go on the offensive right now. Okay, dwarves are starting to get some stone stuff though, so that's cool to see. Uh, I wanna see what the elves are at now, because they were pretty advanced as far as armies go pretty early on. So they are making silver. Uh, they're making all the weapons, they're making armor, uh, they make extra watchtowers and more weapons. So that's, that's actually really good. Humans have not upgraded their materials at all. They're still making wood stuff. But man, yeah, the humans are kind of behind, uh, especially because a lot of these things don't even matter. Because house tier six and housing three are like, they're good in other games, but since they can't increase population at all, they really don't matter at all. Um, they don't see the orcs. Orcs are making just all the weapons. And then dwarves. Yeah, dwarves aren't making any new uh, materials either. And elves just built a new colony, Oad, uh, on this island, which is cool. But we'll see if it actually can last. They're definitely having some troubles with these crystal people. Oh, come on. How is he so strong? Yeah, I wonder how many times they've tried to settle on this island and just keep getting killed. What is this guy's body count? Yeah, I think this game, it's been moving a little bit slowly, but I think it's gonna start to ramp up once we start getting some better weapons. I feel like it's really hard for them to actually do any damage to these capitals with so many people in them. But once they have some better weapons, they can just one shot all these people. I feel like it's gonna go pretty quick. What? No way, what is going on with the humans? They have an army of 150 up here? Oh, that really scares me for whoever the humans are gonna declare war on next. That whole army could probably wipe out like an entire nation. Okay, and humans are upgrading their materials now, finally. So here's some copper stuff and I saw, yeah, I think I'm seeing some silver in there. Yeah, man, that's, that is scary and they just keep growing. They're almost to 160 already. Oh, okay, humans versus elves. Um, so they're sending in a couple armies. They're not sending in the big one for some reason, uh, which is probably good because I don't think the elves would really be able to fend that off. Is it still just that one farmer left? It's still just Farmer Brown. No, don't kill him. Ah, rip. All right, then orcs just declared war on the elves too. So is that everyone? Oh yeah, everybody's against the elves right now. And of course, okay, so Orcs just made peace with the dwarves. So now it really is, I don't think there's any other wars going on right now. It's, it literally is everybody against elves. All right, elves down to 1700. So they're still not doing too bad. Thankfully with how many guys they have in here, they're still uh, able to fend off these armies pretty well. Yeah, it's just hard to beat the insane amount of numbers they have. Okay, humans giant army is doing something. Uh, or maybe not, they, they moved all down here. It seemed like they were gonna get on a boat or something. Even still though, it's really scary they're even moving at all. They've just been staying in that one spot up here. Oh crap, yeah, they are moving. This might be the end right here. I see the elves are down to 1,500. So 1,500 citizens versus an army of 350. I mean, I can't even tell what's going on. No way. That's the dwarves army too. Yeah, how much is that total? Like, like 600 army? Yeah, look at them go and they're still coming. There's still more army uh, that isn't even here yet. But I think this army started off as like a little over 300 and now they're down to 286. So really they haven't lost that many. Yeah, elves are down to 300 left, 250. All right, so their capital was just destroyed. And then two people just made peace with them. The orcs and the dwarves just made peace, but the humans I think are still still out for blood. Oh, uh, humans just made peace too. You can't just commit genocide and then on the last 20 people just change your mind. 
I don't think that's how it works, but I guess I'm happy the elves survived. Honestly, I'd say it's anyone's game at this point. Um, orcs are building up a pretty sizable army as well. At about 200, and they got a few small armies. Okay, I kind of forgot how much dwarves have, but uh, they're almost up to 500 army, which is a lot. So I'd say at least humans and dwarves are pretty uh, evenly matched. All right, orcs versus dwarves. Here we go. Oh, we're going to see a huge war because the orcs have almost 450 and then uh, dwarves have their 500 and I think they're going to meet. They're both kind of heading in the same direction or maybe not. Is their army just going to go up here? Well, they're going to have to fight eventually. Eventually, they're going to kill everyone else off on both sides and I think they're gonna have to kill each other to win. Was there more? This wasn't even all of them. But man, the orcs numbers are dropping so quick. They're down to 900, 800. What's going on over here? I don't know what the orcs are doing over here. <laughs> they're just standing in this one spot. They're down to 350. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be able to finish this off. I think most of the people that are left are part of this army. Yeah, because there's about, how many is that? Like 450? So they're gonna have to face their army. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing now. Unfortunately, they've lost a lot of guys, but they're gonna have to challenge this army. Otherwise, they're gonna just get destroyed. Man, this is gonna be such a close game. All right, someone's throwing bombs. A bunch of them just blew up. And I have no idea what's going on right now, but I'm pretty sure the orcs are winning. Yeah, the dwarves army was pretty split up. They didn't all get there at the same time, which made it a lot easier for the orcs just to kind of walk through them. So I think that was the entirety of that army. You can see every citizen of this uh, colony are all in this army. 266 guys. Then humans just declared war on the elves but uh, we all knew they were gonna die eventually anyways. I kind of just want to pay attention to what's going on over here right now. Okay, 450. Let's see what their total is, 500. Okay, dwarves might survive. Their army's down to 50, 27, 23, 20, and okay, 10. All right, so they actually managed to fend off that attack. So they're down to 360, and orcs are down to just 32. Yeah, they just absolutely annihilated each other. Honestly, I'm so surprised the dwarves were able to come out on top, but uh, good for them. And they've already built up a pretty good army here with 82, and elves just got destroyed. All right, humans just declared war on the orcs. Yeah, all that's really left is for the humans to destroy everyone else, because there's no way the orcs or the dwarves can fend them off. And okay, so that colony was just destroyed um orcs just have this one one remaining colony down here is that it is that everyone i think so i think that's the end of the orcs all right so here we go humans versus dwarves we'll see how this goes so dwarves are surprisingly going on the offensive right now they have their 120 coming up to Ohena. Yeah, here they come. Humans are kind of meeting them down here with an 18. The dwarves army is pretty blinged out though. Look at them. Looks like all of them have silver weapons. I wonder how good the humans armies are these days. It looks like they're still using wood. All right, maybe not. Yeah, they got silver. They got iron. They got, they got some other good stuff. Oh, do they have adamantine? Yeah, they do have adamantine. Okay, shoot. So humans are super OP. Oh, that's the 450. Where is he going? I think they're going to drop him off down here. Let's see, what are they doing? Are they going to come down? Yep, they're coming down. Yeah, there goes one colony down. So I think it's just their capital left. Orcs are doing some good damage on the humans, though they really should just be defending right now. All right, so dwarves down to... 200 and 150 yeah 91 and 91 so at this point they literally have to kill their army uh, to finish off the dwarves um and yet they're still just sending guys down here for some reason i don't know why yeah the game's like kind of broken right now the humans just don't know what to do meanwhile the dwarves are hiding out in their base <laughs> all right dwarves are finally back um so they got 30 they like keep teleporting the game's like glitched or something. 14, they should have been over here. Okay, two, one, and that's it. All right, so dwarves have officially been destroyed and humans win, uh, ending with 1363 left.